Guys, welcome back to the streets. Will never forget. I am your host, Preston, and today we will be focusing on the Newcastle team of the 11-12 season and the incredible players that they had throughout that season as well, guys. So stay tuned. As nobody was expecting big things from this Newcastle team because in the 9-10 season they clinched promotion back to the Premiership via becoming first in the Championship. Within the 10-11 season, they finished 12th in the Premier League. Summer of 2011, Newcastle had a very busy summer transfer. First off, they signed Yohan Kabar from Liverpool for 4.3 million in June. A week later, they signed Demba Bar on a free transfer. And in, in August 2011, they signed Davide Santon from Inter Milan. First half of the 11-12 season, the Magpies have had a relatively quiet season. Things really started to change within the second half of the 11-12 season. Within the January transfer, the San Papit Cisse they hit the ground running in the Premier League, coming on for Leon Best in the 70th minute against Aston Villa and scoring the winner for a 2-1 victory against the Villains. This Newcastle team would be amongst the favourites to clinch a top four spot to be in the Champions League. Players such as Cisse will be scoring screamers against Chelsea from 30 yards out. Ben Arthur will go on solo runs like the goal he scored against Bolton where he took the ball from his own half, ran past the entire team and actually managed to slot the goal against Bolton's goalkeeper. And this goal would be contender for April goal of the month. Also, Adam Babar would have one of his best seasons being a clinical finisher within that partnership strike force with Papi Cissé. So it would miss out on the Champions League spot by finishing fifth and going to the Europa League while Alan Pardew won manager of the season. The tech version of Andy Cole and Dwight York these two were a Senegalese deadly alliance. Bar would be a clinical finisher while Cesar would be a sniper outside the box. Strike and combo would combine together for a 29 goals in the Premier League. 2013 Demba Bar would then move to Chelsea while Papi Cesar would go to China. Yohan Kabai was a great technical midfielder with passing range and could change the game with either a free kick or a long range shot outside the box. Within the 11-12 season, he would get 7 assists and score 4 goals. He would later join PSG. Ben Arthur, in my opinion, he was Newcastle's best player. You could never get the ball from him. The ball was glued to his feet. He would go on these Lionel Messi-esque runs, taking on multiple midfielders, defenders, goalkeepers, attackers, you name it. He would later join PSG, Rennes and Nice, but he would never live up to his potential, sadly. Newcastle team had everything, a great defence with the leadership of Colocini, a high level midfield such as Johan Kabai and Ben Arthur, a striking duo that showed really well and that was unraveled between the lower teams and a great fan base such as the Toon Army. They would give any team in the Premier League a very hard time that season. Newcastle, the streets will never forget you guys. I've been your host Priston and I'm signing out. Peace. this video guys for more football content and football breakdowns subscribe to my channel also follow me on instagram at priston underscore 23 guys thank you peace